days. The Socceroos reasonably comfortable on Thursday and Parramatta in particular is a must for Graham Arnold's team this evening. In Prasane, Sharafuddin in defence as Maher Sabra drops out while a score for his country with 23 and the most caps is one. So Aidan Trustic starts in a rather rejig midfield. And off we go in front of this rep international goal against Lebanon on Thursday. Metcalf. And Goodwin has stolen a march on the defender and fires in a low cross and it's in. Second time of asking, Cassini Yangi has his first international goal. There might have been an element of good fortune in the end, but it's good with the provider once again. And Cassini Yengi scores what Graham Arnold will hope is the first of many for his country. Asking if the Socceroos could be a little bit more decisive in that front third. You see there, he's probably just on side, Craig Goodman, but we know his delivery. Look at that, right across the six-yard box. What a ball that is. Cassini Yengi being where he needs to be, gets across the front post, his first touch comes back off the post, a little bit of fortune as he tucks it in off the left shin, but he won't care, not a jot. Wonderful ball from Goodwin and a fantastic start for the Socceroos. Well, what a moment for Cassini Yengi. He's been a good foot. Here's Girardi and Hassan Matuk. It's a good first touch by the Lebanese captain, but it's got away from him. So here's Frustich. Heard the screams, and I think he just comes. He has help from his captain Matuk. Little angle ball, and Levin on the rim behind here, and just a overhit ball there from Goodwin and Kai Rolls couldn't bring it in. As the ball comes inside, look at the run here in behind there. Great pass. He has a little look up and think. Irvine, Metcalf gonna have a go. Oh, that one was right in. Spell this for Lebanon. Not a good ball though by Sharafti. Not a good header by Rolls. Hassan Matuk to square it up. And they're going up here. Oh. Well, butchered that one. Well, that's the moment there where Kai Rolls needed someone just to talk to him. Tell him he has the time to either bring it down or just to cushion it back to Matty Ryan. And move the ball quickly. And he's managed to regain his balance and keep possession of the ball. This is quite the run from Conor Metcalf. Just now the touch up the defender is favoured, Conor Metcalf. And the goalkeeper scrambled back to his goal line and made the strikes from Conor Metcalf. No, he's a little bit fortunate with the deflection and he has plenty of time to assess the situation. He just tried to side foot it. You see there the deflection comes off Tanish and then he just looks to side foot it in. Maybe with the laces there he could fire it across the goals. Straight in with what they see as histrionics and look at that by Hustic. Craig Goodwin onto this, the goalkeeper out to meet him. That was about the quality of delivery. And up towards the back post. Lebanon defend it well. Well, it's sure. Loose ball favours Yengi. Now Goodwin in position. Three in the box. Oh, and Rustic looks to the floor as if to say he got a bobble at the crucial moment. It's gone way, way, way over the top. Well, I'm not too sure about the bowl. That was a wonderful ball from Yangi. And then Craig Goodwin has a little look up, you see there. And he's just leaning back and stretching, isn't he? And that almost went out of the stadium. And I think you can look at the pitch there. He's just got... Goodwin delivers towards the near post. Needed a little more flight. Fortunately for the Socceroos, it just ended up with three Socceroos, two either side. And... Defender there, just the one against three. This at the end of things. A little bit of variation this time. Change of angle with the outside of the boots. Back post. Harry Sutter strikes the woodwork. Well, it was nearly the dream combination once again. Well, that ball there deserved a goal. What a wonderful ball that is with the outside of the left foot. And Harry Sutter gets up strong, and you think it's going in the back of the net. And he can't believe it. It just skims off his forehead. Comes back off the post. All country. Here's Goodwin's delivery. And it's a beauty. And nodded on. And touched in. At the back post. It's Jackson Irvine who gets a congratulations. Harry Sutar had the first header. Which Mostafa Matar could only push away. And again. Lebanon have conceded. Within a couple of minutes. 
all this things in the right place at the right time. Well, it's a disaster start to the second half, but it's a wonderful ball from Craig Goodwin, and as it's palmed out from Matar, I think it's one of his own teammates there, you see. It gets it's Gerardi at the back post. He couldn't do anything about it, couldn't get out the way, and it just comes back off his shins and into his own net. And Aiden Frustich races away. He's got options right and left. A little scoop over the top for Craig Goodwin. And he fires it in. That's a glorious goal. Befitting of a really good performance by Craig Goodwin on his return to the team after illness. What a hit. Australia three clear now. Numbers. And as Rustic had a look up, the little scoop over the defenders, clearly onside, you can see there, Craig Goodwin. And he had to check his run. And as he does so often, he chests it down, and what a finish that is. He thought it may have just lost momentum here as it slowed down, but never, ever question the left foot of Craig Goodwin. Lovely first touch, and look at the finish on that. It just bends away. Lovely trajectory. And it's... Burns, Lebanon looked to be visibly tiring, and headed over by Duke at the near post. 20 seconds or so for Socceroos, and here's another look at that. You see both Lebanese defenders getting drawn to Mitch Duke, and he didn't seem to realise, Yangi, that he had so much time and space. And this here looked like a handball on first viewing. No. I think he's lucky to get away with that one. Gabriel Bitter, and then the cross from Jones. It's an awkward one to control for Mitch Duke. Slightly behind him. I'm missing several first team performers now Australia could be in behind here it's four it's the first international goal for John Iredell it might be his first touch since coming off the bench what a moment for the young striker he dissolves into tears that's what this means as his teammates crowd him to congratulate him Australia four clear has arrived on the international scene. Well, how ironic as well, the, the man down the left-hand side who was approached by Lebanon to go and play for them with his heritage, chose the Socceroos, and on debut, puts it on a plate for John Idale who tucks it away. Look at that industrious play there, and he just gets a little look there, you see, and we talked about Craig Goodwin's early delivery in the first half. Well, that was another exquisite delivery from Patrick Yesbeck. Darwich, it's not a bad ball, and Omar Shaban. Too much service coming to the box without the Aussies. Aussies getting there first. Meantime, Jones, lovely weighted ball in behind for Iredell as runners at the back post, and that touch presents it on a platter for Craig Goodwin, who has a double, and Australia have five. A credit to Jones. And Iredell for the creation of that goal, and Craig Goodwin really couldn't miss. So just on side there, times his run to perfection. As he's touching a little look, and they get a little bit fortunate there as the stretch and the touch from Schwa takes it straight into the path of Craig Goodwin, who is just pops up at the back post and tucks it away. An easy goal, he will not score. He's had a wonderful game tonight.